feels like you crash land on another planet. There's this massive thriving ecosystem down there that is full of color and activity and beauty. You're out there on a tiny little oasis of just life and you get to kind of have it to yourself. Everybody wanted a lionfish in their aquarium because they are so decorated and beautiful. They have large dorsal spines, they have large pectoral fins. In the water, these fins are displayed in such a way that makes them very attractive for aquarists. People wanted them in their aquarium, but they eventually got sick of them. Odds are they probably released them just out of sight, out of mind, and they ended up flourishing and causing a pretty big impact. What makes it invasive is that it's taking too much room and too many resources from the native populations. So the native populations are actually feeling a lack of that space and resources. The fact that this species can make such an influence on our native population has become a problem for our dwindling coral reef habitats. I started spearfishing almost right whenever I started scuba diving. As I've gotten more into lion fishing, I've actually stepped away from killing any of the native species. How you doing? My partner of choice happens to be my brother, which is an amazing thing that I get to do with him. Load up in the morning and uh, put the boat in the water and drive 15 to 20 miles offshore and put an anchor on a spot and we will go out and spend the day going down and picking lionfish off the reef. Because lionfish don't fear anything, they're actually extremely easy to harvest. If there's folks that are getting into scuba diving and never really thought to spearfish, they can use very primitive gear, basically a stick with a rubber band, and harvest these fish. I mean, there's a lot of equipment out there that makes it very, very easy for these folks to get involved. They're not a quick moving fish. They kind of stay right where you found them and you go in with your sling. And if you have a proper way to store them, such as a zookeeper, then you can successfully harvest your own lionfish. Florida Fish and Wildlife has made it very, very easy for individuals to get a license that allows them to sell their catch to a licensed wholesaler. So you can sell directly to them with an SPL, saltwater prox license. Harvest 50 pounds of fish, which is really not that hard, and that more than covers your fuel bill, if not your air tank fills as well. It's certainly an incentive just the commercial market to go out there and harvest lionfish. You also can keep a few fish for yourself or keep all the fish and bring it to your house and have a big cookout for all your friends. You can go out and just have the fulfillment and reward of a day's diving and knowing that you've helped a specific reef get back to its normal ticking. Outside of people actually getting into the water to harvest these fish, people can ask for them in their restaurants. You go to the restaurant and you ask for lionfish, the restaurant's going to want to buy lionfish to satisfy that demand and that gets more people in the water harvesting these fish commercially. We as divers need to go out and pull these fish off the reefs anywhere we can. That'll hopefully get that into restaurants and grocery stores and more people will get to try it and be a part of this movement to eradicate a species that doesn't belong here.